how many of you have heard about the water bathing? Hmm. Just few hands. It's really nowadays becoming very popular, especially in the metro cities. Or cars. Okay. Okay. So just we'll continue with the water bathing. So I feel very, uh, you know, proud in telling you all that we have a beautiful water birthing facility in Sayadri Hospital, Nagar Road. Aap jaane se pehle hamara water birthing suite room zaroor dekna. Now we'll have a lot of, uh, you know, mothers have a lot of uh, questions in their mind. Is water birthing safe? Uh, mera baby paani mein deliver hoga to kya hoga? Is it safe for the baby or not? So I'm going to ask a couple of questions to our uh, water birthing expert here. So ma'am, my first question is that who are the mothers who are fit to go for a water birthing? Yes, this is a very important question because when we are giving the option of water birthing to the expectant mothers, the selection of the patient is very important because for water birthing, we usually take low-risk pregnancies and the term babies. What do you mean by low-risk pregnancies? That usually at 37, 38 weeks, when you are nearing your uh, delivery day, we examine the mother and just see whether the head has got uh, dropped down into the pelvis. That is, it has got engaged. Because when the head has got engaged, then only the uh, process of normal delivery can happen smoothly. Also, we need to see whether the cervix has been prepared for normal delivery. That is, the cervix becomes uh, soft, when, which is usually firm in the first eight months of pregnancies. Then we see what are high-risk pregnancies. As Dr. Arshna Kankal I am already told in the high risk pregnancies like the pregnancies where previous C-section, when where there are absolute indications where we need a C-section like placenta previa or any other bleeding disorders and the baby, when the baby is not with the head presentation, it is with transverse or breech presentation, when it is a premature delivery and when twin gestation, in all this placenta previa, in all these cases we don't opt for water uh, bathing. The birth weight of the baby is very important. If the baby is IUGR, that is the growth retarded baby, small baby, these babies when they deliver in water may suffer from some distress. Therefore, such babies also, or such pregnancies also are not an ideal candidate. Third comes the weight of the mother. If the mother, usually we see the mother weight should be around less than 100 kg. If it is more than 100 kg, in some situations in, or in some emergencies, when it is needed, when the delivery is not happening inside the water birth, and in emergency, we need to shift the baby either to the labor table or to the uh, op OT complex, then uh, it will be very difficult or it will be time consuming to transfer the baby from the water pool to the mother uh, to the OT complex. Therefore, the weight of the mother is also very important. Now, the very first important thing where the, where the water birthing facility is. Jaha hamara water birthing premises hota hai, usi premises mein OT, uh, labor table bhi hona chahiye and the OT complex jo hota hai, wo bohat pas mein hona chahiye. As I told, it is not mandatory ki hamara jo baby hai, wo water pool mein hi deliver ho. Kabhi kabhi aisa hota hai ki labor process ho gaya, but water birth, jaysay normal delivery mein, jaysay Dr. Kankal explained ki sometimes even after too much of trial, the baby doesn't deliver. Same it can happen with the water pool also, ki the baby is not descent down nahi ho raha hai, baby nahi deliver ho raha hai. In those cases, we have to shift to the emergencies mein ya to labor table pe shift karke delivery karna hai, ya fir hum ko OT mein ja ke section karna hai. In that cases, humara jo uh, Pura suit, hamara jo water birthing suit hai, maha pe hume labor table bhi pas mein hoona chahiye and the premises, OT premises should be very nearby so very quickly we can transfer the baby or shift the, sorry, not baby, mother to the OT complex. Now third, it should be a well-versed team of doctors, expertise and very trained uh, nurses and the physiotherapist because this is, water birthing is totally a teamwork. It is not only the doctor because doctor can't be with the uh, mother for all uh, the pro uh, labor process. It is mostly our doula nurses which are highly certified and highly trained. They keep you engaged throughout that uh, labor process. They keep you training on your exercises, massages, perineal massages, aromatherapies. And uh, as Dr. Mahima told, why you need only those nine months of journey to be very joyous? The actual day, the actual day, that is the D day, when the baby is going to born, that day also should be make a beautiful memory. So that you can achieve with water birthing. Thanks. So does it sound exciting to all of you? Delivering into 
water pool. So uh, let me also add to this that it's not necessary that your baby has to be pushed into water only. There is also something called a stage one water birthing. So ma'am, can you tell them something more about stage one water yeah. birth? What is a stage one? A stage one, that is the labor process, starts when you start feeling uterine contractions, that is you start feeling pain and it ends with the full dilatation of the cervix. That is called the labor stage. During, the, as I told you, what is water birthing? As the name suggests, the labor and or delivery happens in the water pool. The labor can happen in the water pool. It is not mandatory that baby should also deliver because in certain circumstances, the delivery is not happening inside the water pool. Or it is also the patient choice. Sometimes they have a very apprehension that my baby will deliver inside the water, what will happen. But the main advantage of water birthing is the pain uh, which you feel less. Why you feel less pain? Because when you are submerged in a hot water pool, the hot water relaxes your muscles. Because of and is, uh, that calm effect, the relaxing effect also helps in secretion of pain inhibiting chemicals called endorphins from the brains. That causes a very calm and uh, relaxing experience. Therefore, jo uterine contractions, jitne aapko feel hote hain, jitna pain feel hota hai, wo pain aapko feel nahi hota hai. So the main advantage of water therapy, we also call it hydrotherapy, ki aapka pain sensation bohat kam hota hai. Second, uh, your the water acts as a lubricant. It uh, relaxes your perineal muscles. Perineal muscles jada lubricate hoti hai, soft hoti hai, they become more elastic. So the need of episiotomy, which is required in a normal delivery, we usually don't give in uh, water birth. Third, uh, because in water you must have feel, whenever you are in swimming pool, you feel your body f uh, f very light. Okay, so because of the light, uh, your body feels light, you can try different positions in the water pool. You, in different positions, you can relax, you can uh, bear down the baby down, and also you can, the movement inside the water pool is very easy. Also because of the warm water, the circulation of the uterine muscles increases. So because of increased blood flow to the uterine muscles during the contractions, baby ko bhi chada oxygen milta hai. So there are many benefits of water birthing. So I think it sounds really exciting that you don't have to be scared. In case you're scared that how will I push my baby into water, there is also an option called stage one water birthing, which will help you to get comfort in your pregnancy, sorry, in your labor, ताकि आप पेन से अगर घबरा रहे हों तो आपको पेन से डरने की जरूरत ना पड़े। मैम, also I would you know like to ask you when is the right time for a pregnant lady to book her water birthing package? As I told, the selection of the patient is very important. From seven month, six or seven months, we start explaining the patients the different delivery plans. When we explain them different delivery plans, what is normal delivery, what is epidural analgesia, what is C-section, in that our plan, we also explain about the water birthing. And when they start showing interest in the water birthing, we have two to three discussions with the couple. Then we tell them in detail what is the water birthing all process about. We make them round of our water birthing suit but ultimate decision as I told is usually decided at the last trimester that is after the 38 weeks because she has not developed some comorbidities like gestational diabetes or pregnancy induced hypertension the baby is not small for gestation there are no other complications no other bleeding the presentation as I told has to be cephalic that is it has to be with the head presentation head should be well engaged then we also assess the pelvis pelvis is the birth canal. When the pelvis is adequate, quite roomy, then only your baby can descend down. So there are certain uh, things we just at the last moment at 37, 38 weeks, we finally decide whether this uh, patient or the pregnant lady is an adequate choice for water birthing. Great. So I think that's uh, really exciting that you have so many options available under water birthing so that you can get that comfort and labor and experience a nice memorable labor instead of getting scared. And after seeing our water birthing pool, I'm sure a lot of you would be excited to come consult us whether you are fit for water birthing or not or in case you want to book a water birthing package with us, you all can consult Dr. Mohita Goel who will help you to personalize your water birthing experience with us. Thank you so much ma'am. Thank you everyone.